Let's just break up. But why, babe? Because I'm a guy. I started this relationship, so I can end it too. You can't really dump me because you're just a girl. Amara, you chose to be a girl, right? No, I chose to be a boy. What? Why would you do that? The guy's the one who starts and ends relationships, right? Not all guys are like that. Didn't I tell you that David isn't good for you? Whatever, you'll never understand. Basically, I had to be a guy who's taller than my ex because he's pretty short. So, I chose to be tall. Look at Amara. She was dumped by the most handsome guy in school. David, right? He's so handsome. Are you sure he's the most handsome guy here? Yes, look around. Is there any other guy prettier than him? There will be. Be a CEO or be a mafia leader. Must be fun being in a mafia. Guys, let's have lunch together. You're David's ex. We were only friends with you because you were dating the popular guy. I'm going to be his girlfriend soon. What? Let the game begin. Whoa, this is so cool. I look like a boy. I'm going to pretend to be the new kid at school. Introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm new at the school. What's your name? Um, my name is Sam. Whoa, so handsome. Nice to meet you. Whoa, look at the new kid. He's so hot. Yes, even though the most handsome guy in school is David, I like Sam more. Hey, do you know David who used to be the most handsome guy here? If you steal his girl, you can be more popular than him. Interesting. Okay. Are you the new kid? Yeah. You said your name is Sam, right? Mm-hmm. Leo, do you want to go out and grab a drink? Okay, but um, I don't want my boyfriend David to know. Okay, I'll just go ask another girl. No, wait. Um, I want to go on a date with you. Okay, I'll pick you up at 8. Oh, so this is the guy who dared to ask my girl out on a date. Don't think you're more handsome than me. You're brave trying to steal my girl. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. The one who wins gets the girl. I'm in. Fight me in the ring tomorrow. Whoever wins gets the girl. I'm in. I have to think about how to beat David. I've never competed in the ring before. Hey, if anyone's interested, I just opened the gym. I train people to be stronger. Excuse me, sir. I want to register on your gym. Your muscles are already big. Why do you want to register? Yes, my muscles are big, but... But what? I'm going to be fighting in the ring tomorrow. The ring? Come, let me teach you. So, what do you want me to do? There is a way to win the fight. First task I'm going to give you today is do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups? Yes, hurry up. My arms hurt. Second task, separate this wood into two. You want me to separate it into two? Correct, hurry up. Ouch. Are you okay? Yeah, it's done. Good job. Okay, the next task is... I'm so tired. Sam, the race in the ring is about to start. David's waiting. Um, okay. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. Why aren't you feeling any pain? Because you're weak. I don't feel anything. Come on, fight me. Why are you just standing there? You're going to wish you didn't say that. <laughs> Even though I was slow, I still feel like I won. Ouch. Well, at least this match is finally done. I'm going home. I will announce the winner later when everyone's gathered. Okay, sir. Wait, but then... When your girlfriend finds out who the winner is, she'll be mine. What? But... According to the agreement. But what if you don't win? She'll be mine. We'll see. Sam, do you know David's ex, Amara? Amara? Who's that? David's ex. Since you entered school, I haven't seen her. People are starting to be suspicious. Um, I don't know. Oh, I see. Hi, Sam. Hey, um, David said earlier, if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... The winner is... Sam! What? There's no way he won. Let's rematch. Just accept the fact that you lost. No, I didn't lose. I was just tired. Yeah, right. I don't care. You might have won, but you're not taking my girlfriend. But that was the deal, wasn't it? Hey, David, whether you want or not, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a fool and you're so selfish. Furthermore, I don't need a man in my life to be happy. But wait, I love you. Aw, oh, you just got dumped. Maybe you should start learning how to treat girls better. There's something weird about you. Ever since you got here, you've been wanting me to break up with my girlfriend. No, it's not like that at all. Who really are you? You'll soon find out. Amara, it was you this whole time? I should have known. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. David lost the fight against the girl. Why are you doing this to me? Now everyone's bullying me. I didn't do anything. You were the one who suggested the fight in the ring, so you did this to yourself. 
Anyways, I need to go. Bye. I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch! Look what my powers can do. <sighs> okay, okay, stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? Because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm gonna have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. Mind control? Why do I always get bad ones? I want to refuse it, but I can't. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Accept it now. But mom, I said do it. All right, fine. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. She shouldn't be allowed back in the school. Who says I don't have any magic powers? I have a magic power. Really? And what's your magic power? I can't tell them. They'll bully me. I don't want to say. It's a secret. Sir, am I allowed to stay in the school? Do you have a magic power? Yes, I do. I picked one today. All right, then you can stay. Thanks, sir. I'm so scared. Imagine someone finds out about my magic power. I can't let anyone know that I got mind control. Everyone, we'll be practicing our magic powers today. Practicing our magic powers? Yes, everyone should know how to use them. Amara, you just pretend to have magic powers so you can stay in the school, right? No, that's not true. I have magic powers. If you have magic powers, why don't you want to tell me what it is? Fine, it's mind control. Mind control? That's the most greatest magic power. The greatest magic power? If you really have that power, then I want to challenge Challenge you. me? Yep, to see if you're telling the truth. Okay, fine. I'll accept the challenge. Good. Look, guys, I'm going to use my powers on Amara. Wait, why isn't it working on her? Wait, Amara, do you really not feel anything? Feel what? Why are you all looking at me like that? I know about your magic power. You can control minds. What? How do you know? Because you have the strongest magic power. I can feel strongest, it. Strongest? But I don't know how to use it. It's easy, just use your feelings. Feelings? Yes. Amara, did you accept the magic match against Jennifer? Yes. Then the competition will start now. Now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use my magic yet. Why so quiet? Are you scared to fight me? Okay, the magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. The magic match will start in 3, 2, 1. Why isn't my magic working on her? Amara, use your magic now. Yeah, you said you had magic powers. Why aren't you using them? Because I don't know how to use it. If you really don't know, then why did you accept Jennifer's challenge? You know what? It's decided. You've lost this magic match. Lost? According to our agreement, if you lose, you're out of the school. No, I don't want to leave magic school. You accepted my challenge, so you must accept the consequences. What? Hey, old lady, I lost against Jennifer. I told you, you have to use your feelings. Are you afraid? Yeah, I'm scared. That's what keeps your magic from appearing. You shouldn't be afraid. So, my feelings make my magic appear? Yes, you already like someone, right? I like my best friend. His name is Jake. Then approach him now. Huh? Right now? Yes, go and tell him how you feel. 
It's so cold in here, isn't it? Jake? What's up? I like you. Why does my body suddenly feel warm? And I feel like I like you too out of a sudden. Wow. What just happened was love magic. Love magic? Yes, every feeling has a magic power which is different. And the greatest magic of all is anger. anger? Yes, that's right. Amara, sign this letter. Why do I have to sign this letter? Because you'll be leaving the school, so you need to sign it. But I don't want to leave the school. I've learned how to use my magic. Why is it suddenly raining outside? So this is your magic power. Yes, sir. The magic you just used right now is the sad feeling. Sad feeling? Every time you feel something, your magic starts working. That's such a cool magic power. You still haven't used the feeling of anger. You need to use it, but it will only work if you're really angry. Oh, I don't get angry easily. You have to, because it's the strongest magic. Okay. Why are you still in the school? I thought you got kicked out. You don't have a magic power, so you don't deserve to be here. I told you so many times, I have a magic power. If the teacher don't kick you out of the school, I'll make you leave. Amara, wait, you got the spade symbol. Spade symbol? What do you mean, mom? Yes, the symbol on your cheek. The government is holding a game for all the people in this country. And those who win this game will get unlimited money. I think this game is quite interesting. What game is that? The point is, we have to tell them what symbol we got. And if we get it wrong, we get shot in the head. Wait, what? Shot? Does that mean if I guess it wrong, I die? Yep, that's the consequence. But mum, isn't it easy to tell what symbol I have on my face? I can just look at myself in the mirror and see what symbol I got. No, you can't, because they've destroyed and removed all mirrors, glass, and any reflection in the world, even water. Huh? They even removed water? What if I'm thirsty and I want to drink? If you're thirsty, you're just going to have to eat fruits, like a watermelon. I swear this game doesn't make any sense. It's like the government wants to kill us all. No, the aim of this game is money. Imagine having unlimited money. We can buy whatever we want. Anyway, you have to go to school now. You're going to be late. But mom! Before you go, can you tell me what symbol I got on my face? Yeah, it's a red heart. Okay, thank you so much, honey. I still don't get it. What's the purpose of this game? Hey, Amara, you got a spade too. It's the same huh? as my symbol. Your symbol is a diamond. Who told you it was a spade? Diamond? Are you serious? Yes, it's a diamond. Who said spade? My twin sister. Huh? Your twin sister? You know how much she hates you. Why would you believe anything she says? And besides, you do know that if you get it wrong, you'll be shot straight away, right? I know she hates me, but why would she want me dead? I can't believe You're she so lied naive. to You're so naive. Anyway, from now on, just ask me. I won't lie to you. Please make your way to the rooms. One person, one room. Got it? It's already started. Alright, now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Um, spade? Amara, I'm still alive because of you. I swear, I owe you my life. One day I'll repay you. No, it's fine. I'm happy that you're safe. But this game seems too easy. How do we even win? We need to find the king of this game to win. The king of this game? Yes, if we know who the king is and lie to him about his symbol, he'll automatically die but and we'll get all his money. how do you know who the king is? I don't know. All I know is we have to find him. Sis, the symbol on your cheek is a heart. Isn't that your twin brother? Your symbol is a club. Why is he saying a heart? I don't know. Round number two will start soon. Please, all of you, go to your room. Round two already started. I need to go. By the way, the symbol on your cheek is a club, not a heart, okay? Thank you. And yours is a spade again. Okay, thank you so much. Second round. Now answer. What is the symbol on your cheek? Um, spade? Huh? What was that sound? Whoa, someone just died. Seriously, this game really kills people, doesn't hey, it? earlier I saw you lie to your twin about her symbol. Don't tell me you did this to test if the game was real or not. I mean, yeah, but I didn't think it would be real. You're really dangerous, you know that. Don't tell me you're the... Don't tell me you're the king. Me? What? No, I'm on your side. I want to find the king as much as you do. I think we should work together, and when we find the king, we can split the money at the end. Okay, fine. I'll tell you your symbol, and you tell me mine. Okay, deal. <sighs> I'm so tired. Dad, what are you doing in my room? And who's that? Are you cheating on mom? Look, honey, it's not what it looks like. Please don't say anything to your mom. Good morning, honey. I've made breakfast for you. That's a fast. Are you doing all this so I don't tell mom you cheated on her? No, look, could you just tell me what symbol I have on my cheek today? Yeah, it's a diamond. A diamond. Okay, thank you. 
His symbol is actually a heart. The third round will start in five minutes. Please go to your assigned rooms. This early in the morning? Don't forget, honey. Your symbol is a spade. Okay, Dad. And don't forget, yours is a diamond. I won't. See you soon. Third round. Now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Spade. Ha! Die, you cheater. How could he lie to my mom and cheat on her like that? In my room too. And think I'm not going to lie to him about his symbol. Hey, Amara, I have news about the king. Someone said that the king actually goes to our school. Are you serious? Who did you hear that from? Some girls. One girl actually knows someone in the government. She said the king's actually a girl and she's the same really? age Really? I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Me neither, but let's just be careful. Whoa, how come there's only a few people at our school? Most people got eliminated by their own family members. Because as you know, round three started early today when everyone was still at home. So, we're lucky that we're still alive. Yes, I'm alive because of you. Yesterday you told me what symbol I had. Round four is about to start. Please enter your assigned room. Hurry up, what's my symbol? It's a club. Fourth round, now answer. What symbol is on your cheek? Club. More and more people are dying. Oh shoot, I forgot to tell Joe what his symbol is. I hope he's okay. Joe? Hey Amara, we're still alive. Oh my gosh, Joe, you almost gave me a heart attack. Why didn't you ask me what your symbol was? I did. You answered me. You did? Yes, your symbol now is a spade. Thank you. Yours is a spade too. There's only three of us left. That means it's one of us three. It's Jessica. No, it's Joe. He lied to me earlier about my symbol. Round five starts now. Please enter your room. It's already started. Fifth round. Now answer what symbol is on your cheek. Spade. Whoa, two shots. That means they all died. I won! I hope I get the crown symbol so I can live in the palace and marry the prince. Huh? An upside down crown? I thought there was only two symbols, a crown and a leaf. How did I get an upside down crown? Mom, there's something wrong with my symbol. What? Upside down crown? That means you're the enemy of the palace. What? Yeah, cover up quickly before anyone sees it. Why did I get the symbol? Why couldn't they just give me an ordinary crown? Oh look, you got the leaf symbol, just like everyone else. And I see you got the crown symbol. Congrats. Thanks. If I marry the prince, I'll invite you. See you later. I swear the system has an error. How can an arrogant person like Nancy get the crown symbol? You really think it's good to live in the palace? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Those who got the crown symbol will be forced to marry the king who's already had 12 wives in the past. And what's worse is that they can't refuse it. Marry the king? That's crazy. Isn't he like in his 80s or something? And if that was true, why is everyone competing to get the crown symbol? That's because they don't know what's actually going on in the palace. How do you know? You have a leaf symbol. Because I used to live there. How did you live in the palace with that symbol? Believe it or not, my original symbol was. Hurry up, everyone with a leaf symbol has to get to class. From now on, everyone with a leaf symbol has to stay in this class. But this class is so full, there's barely enough space for everyone. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, this is your new class. Oh, ew, what's that smell? Why is there so many people here? Why are you here, Nancy? I thought you'd already be on the way to the palace by now. None of your business. Those with leaf signs are only allowed to eat yogurt. You're not allowed to eat anything containing meat. What? But why? I was just about to buy a hamburger. Oh, sorry you can't eat any meat. Hey, you can have my burger. But just to let you know, I've spat on it. Hey, Nancy, don't talk to people with leaf symbols. Sorry, sir, I was just saying hi to my old friend. Hey, Aiden, can you believe it? There's more than two symbols. How do you know? Come with me to the girls' toilet. Are you insane? I'm a guy. I'm not going to go to the girls' toilet. Just come. I want to show you my symbol. Hurry up. I can't be seen in here. Hey, see, this is my original symbol. Upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown? That means you... And that means you're the king's huh? greatest enemy. How comes your answer is exactly like my mother's? That means she wasn't lying. You don't trust your own mother? I mean, only sometimes, because usually my family gives me money and she says she's going to hold it for me, but she uses it on school fees. Do you even know anything about symbols? I used to read in my grandpa's history book. He said everyone that got the upside down crown must take the king's throne. What? Steal the king's throne? Are you crazy? Don't make things up, Aiden. It's really bad, and if in three days you don't take the king's crown, you're going to die. That's what's written in the book. I'm gonna die in three days? No, I don't believe you. I need proof. Where's the proof? You want proof? Come with me tonight. We're going to the grave. To the grave at night? 
Are you insane? We're going to find my grandpa's history book. I hid it in the grave. Why are we walking towards the palace anyways? Why aren't we going to your grandpa's grave? My grandpa's buried at the palace. Buried at the palace? I thought only royals were buried at the palace. Um, to be honest, this is my symbol. Adrian, your symbol's a crown. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shh, don't speak too loud. I'll tell you later, but for now, let's find a safe place. Your symbol only showed when you turned 17, right? My symbol was there my whole life because my dad was king. Oh, so you're the son of the previous king. You're a prince then. Yes, the current king has an upside down crown, just like so you. So he was the one who killed your dad? Yes, he killed him the day he found out about his symbol. He killed my mom too because she refused to be his wife. But how come none of this is in the news? Yes, because things like this are common in the palace. Seize the throne, share the wife. Wow, all this time I thought royals had the perfect life. But wait, why does this symbol even exist? If the upside down crown didn't exist, the world would have been much safer and no one would fight over the throne. Okay, I've decided to take the king's throne. Are you sure? Yes, and besides, I don't even want the throne like that. I just don't want to die. You're the one who said I have three days. Yes, that's right. Okay, if that's the case, I'll show you the secret passage to the palace. Without the gods seeing you. Oh yeah, here's a weapon for you. It's poison. Why did you give me this? Oh, so that you can... Please give me the red sign. Huh? Red? That means I'm the queen! Mom, look, I got the red mark. Mom, I got the red mark. Wow, that's great, honey. I trust you more than your sister. What? There are two red marks, right? That means there's two queens. But if there's two queens, then... Nope, no, I don't want to imagine it. I got a blue mark. I got red. What? You got red? Same as your sister? Are you sure you didn't fake it? Confess. What the heck is wrong with you, Jenny? Hey, sis. I know you faked your mark. You colored it in yourself. What? No, I got red. You're the one who faked it. It's time for you to tell the truth. Okay, keep lying. But soon, I'll find out the truth myself. Amara, admit it. Did you color it in yourself? What is wrong with you people? You don't believe me? I have the real red mark. If that's true, come with me. We have to prove that your sign is real. Let's do it. How do we prove it? Hey, I have this makeup removing tissue for you. Anyone who doesn't have a sign after trying to remove the mark off the face is a fake. Okay, I'll remove it now. See, it's still there. Mine's still there too. This is weird. We'll prove it again later. Yeah, and everyone's gonna know that my mark is real. Alright, we'll see when we prove it. I still don't believe you. You colored it in with a permanent marker, right? Uh, what the hell? There's no such thing as permanent markers. Just watch out. How is it possible that her mark didn't disappear? Hey, I have cotton and water. This will remove everything, even permanent markers. Okay. See? My color's still there. So is mine. What? I swear, I don't understand anymore. How can her sign not disappear? I told you I'm the original red mark. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way to prove it. Amara pretends to be queen when everyone knows that her sister deserves it more. Yes, I agree. She's not suitable for the role. Are you Amara? Yeah, why do you care? I just want to say something. Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is no ordinary mark. Huh? What mark is it? It's a magical mark that can't be erased easily. I'm only here to find out who the real queen is. Okay, what should I do now? Hey, give her this drink. When she drinks this, her mark will disappear. Hey sis, are you ready to be embarrassed in front of everyone because your mark is fake? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Everyone knows I'm more suitable to be queen. Anyway, see you later. Anyone have any proof suggestions today? I do. So, we have to drink this. Whoever's mark disappears is a faker. Okay, I agree. Let's start now. Okay, so, because this is my drink, you'll go first, sis. Okay, I'll drink it now. Done. It's your turn now. Okay. My mark's still here. We have to wait one minute for it to work. So, how long does it take for the drink to work on her? For the drink to work, you have to wait one minute. Okay, got it. Thank you. Well, as I predicted, her mark is gone, meaning I was right all along. She faked it. Whoa, that's bad. So you're the fake one? Amara was right.
No, she's lying. Please forgive us, Queen, for doubting you. You're a liar. I'll prove it. Hey, sis, because you lied about your mark, you're going to be my assistant for a whole year and do whatever I say. You have to get class A. It will make our family very valuable. Okay, I'm going to check now. Three, two, one. Wow, I got class C, mom. Oh no, that's not good. What's wrong? Hurry up, I have to fake your class before you embarrass our family. Okay, mom. Hopefully no one will know and it will look like you got class A. What class are you in, Emily? I'm in class C. It's true that poor people like us are never appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm in class A. Huh? How come? I don't know. I was also surprised this morning. Yeah, if that's the case, we'll be in separate classes. Emily said you got class A. Yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you all. Where does your parents work? Uh, oh my gosh, my parents don't own a company. What the heck, Jake? Maybe she doesn't want to say it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to say. Your parents must be very important. Okay, class, this is our first lesson. Please take out your cell phone. Cell phone? I only brought a paper and a pen. That can't be right. Everyone got cell phones when they received the letter A. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Um, mine broke. It's okay, sir. I can share mine with Amara. Okay, if you don't mind. You're lucky I saved you. <sighs> yes, thank you so much. Let's go to the canteen. I'm really hungry. Why are you going to the canteen? Our food is delivered to the school by a helicopter. A helicopter? And there it is. The food's already here. Mom? Hey, honey, I came to bring you some food. <sighs> I'm so scared. If I get caught, they'll put me in prison. Calm down. Everything is safe and under control. You just have to go with the flow. Okay, if you say so. Class A, please make your way to the dining room. I have to go, Mom. I was looking for your food, but your name wasn't there. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I think the teacher's assumptions were true. What assumption? You're not really at Class A, are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are you so scared? Now that you've finished eating, we're going to bring in all your parents, so please be nice to everyone. Why are you bringing our parents, sir? So everyone can get to know each other better. I can't wait to meet your parents, Amara. Me too. They must be really important. Everyone's parents are here except Amara's. Where are your parents? Um, maybe they're busy. You look suspicious. I want you to erase the letter on your neck. But my class is still loading. What if I remove it and nothing shows? Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Honey, wait! Huh? My mom's here. That means I don't need to remove my class mark, right? Yes, you're really lucky she showed up. Your mom is so cool. Please introduce us. Yes, I've never met or seen your mom before. Later, okay? I want to talk to my mom first. Mom, why is my class loading? That's because you were told to remove your letter by the teacher. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I don't get a class. Don't worry, honey. All you have to do is fake a class again. What? Turns out I've went up a class. I'm in class B now. You still need to fake it so you don't embarrass our family. Amara, what are you doing in the toilet? You're taking so um, long. My stomach hurts. By the way, did you get your dress for tonight? Yeah. No, you haven't. You need to go get it quickly. It's only for class A people. I'm in class A. Do you have any clothes for me? Your name is Amara. Wait a minute. Let me find it. I know it's not going to be there. Psst. Who's calling me? Over here. Mom? Here's your dress. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. But how did you get this? Isn't it expensive? Oh, I just borrowed it off a neighbor. Okay, every girl has to be paired with a guy. Um, all of us? Yes, all those who got class A has a partner. My partner's late. Who says I'm late? Who told you to come here? If they find out we're both not in class A, we'll be finished on the spot. I'm just following what your mom told me. My mom? Yes, she paid me three million to come. Three million? Weird, right? I thought you guys were poor. I'm pretty sure you're not in class A. I am, and besides, you don't have any proof, sir. I'll continue to push you until you confess. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. Okay, it's time to go home. You'll all be picked up with sports cars by your parents. What sport car do um, you have, Amara? I don't know, because we have too many sport cars at home. Whoa, I think I only have a Ferrari. I have a Lamborghini. I definitely don't have a sport car. Why am I even waiting here to get picked up? Let me just leave. Get in the car, honey. 
Mom? Aren't we poor? How do you have that car? Um, maybe it's time for me to tell you a story. What story? Actually, your dad is... Wait, is my dad still alive? Yes, I lied to you because I really hate him. Why do you look so tired? Because I am tired. I've been trying to fit in with class A for the whole day. Do you even realize how much hard work I've had to put in? Come on, honey. It's all worth it at the end. Everyone will know how valuable our family is. Okay, mom. Hey, Amara. How are you? I'm fine. It looks like you're really happy, huh? Yes, I'm so happy because I made a new friend in class C. That should have been my class. But you must be really happy in class A, right? Yeah, of course. So happy. Anyway, I have to go now because class is about to start. All students in class A has a special talent. Please tell us your talent. My talent is singing. I've won so many international competitions. Do I even have a talent? My talent is swimming. Next week, I'm going to America for a swimming competition. What's um, your talent, Amora? It's acting. I've been in so many TV shows and movies. Okay, class, we're going to be doing yoga. Yoga? Everyone in class knows that we do yoga. Why don't you? No, I do. I just... Thought I heard something else. Yes, our bodies are really flexible. My body's stiff as a rock. It's your turn, Amara. Please put your feet behind your back. Wait, sir, was that the fire alarm? Thank you, Mom. You saved me again. I didn't do anything. I just came here to bring you a cell phone. Huh? You weren't responsible for the fire alarm? Nope. Okay, class, we'll be doing a test. Who doesn't have a cell phone? Why is everyone watching me? Do you not have one? No, we forgot ours at home. You're so lucky. I know you took that cell phone from school. You're stealing. <sighs> no, you can see for yourself. If I had stolen it, it would have had the school symbol, which it doesn't. I've had enough of you, young lady. Hey, you, don't speak to my daughter like that. Huh? Daughter? You're the principal's daughter? Yes, she is, and you're fired. Wait, you're my dad? Your class is S. This must be the lowest class, right? No, class S is much higher than class A. That means you're the golden child. Golden child? What does that mean? Class S is only rewarded to the smartest person in school. And that's you. You should be very proud.